that we've addressed the long-term post-employment costs that threaten the financial stability of our city. We've spent a lot of time this spring addressing the short-term challenges to funding our city government. Our goals last, this past year have been to derive efficiencies out of every area of our organization. To help us achieve that goal, we are in the process of installing a new core system of software that will upgrade our business functions. The core system is being rolled out as we speak today. In fact, training has already begun. And by implementing this new core system, we'll be able to reduce duplication of services, eventually limit, limiting the amount of employees needed to run city operations. And we'll also begin to align the Board of Education functions and, pra and, and their practices with our policies and procedures in our finance, finance department so that we might have a common platform to operate from. The initial 2012-2013 budget request from all of our departments totaled $230 million. That's an increase of $14.4 million from our current budget. After careful review and many hours of work, we've reduced the overall proposed increase from $14.4 million to $4.1 million, or just 1.9%. I can't emphasize how difficult it was to do this given today's <coughs> economic conditions. City department spending is once again flat. And as I've said to many of our department heads, the challenge will be to make it through another very difficult year. We did this by creating greater efficiencies and by implementing all kinds of cost avoidance procedures. I'll give you a couple examples. We're going to continue to defer filling 65 positions, and 29 of those positions will remain unfunded in the 012-013 budget. Many positions that were once full-time have now been reduced to part-time, or we completely eliminated them. The Department of Finance budget team continues to meet regularly with all of our department heads to discuss targeted <coughs> cost-saving opportunities. Another example is our Go Green initiative. We took 200, 244 devices used for copiers, desktop printers, fax machines, and scanners, and we're going to replace all those with 60 multi-function devices. The objective here is to be able to implement a new document management system that will allow us to go paperless for most of our operations. Other cost-saving initiatives like an employee wellness program. We have a new vehicle use policy we're rolling out. 